To show you the size of the doll we're making, it's 6 inches. Okay, the length is 6 inches. Now, if you want to make it a keychain, simply add a loop here on top using the same color of yarn, which is red. And yeah, so that's about it. Now, if you're ready, let's begin. First step, make a magic ring. Chain 1. Make 8 single crochet in the magic ring. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight. Pull the tail to close the magic ring. Then make a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Row two. Make one chain, then make two single crochet in each stitch. Mark the first single crochet. To close the row, make a slip stitch in the first single crochet. That's the end of row 2. Row 3. Make a chain and then make one single crochet in each stitch around. To finish row 3, make a slip stitch in the first single crochet. From row 4 to row 8, follow the same pattern you used in row 3, which is 1 single crochet in each stitch around. So go ahead and finish row 4 to 8 and I'll tell you what to do after that. Now I'm at the end of row 8. I'm just going to close this row, chain 1 and I'm going to cut my yarn. Make another leg like this one but don't cut the yarn yet. Here's the second leg that I made. After these, I'm going to attach the other leg 
by making a single crochet in that stitch where we ended the last row of the first leg. Put a marker in that single crochet you made and continue making one single crochet around the two legs. That was row 9 we finished and now we're starting row 10. In here, from row 10 to row 11, just make one single crochet in each stitch around. Now we're beginning row 12. This is what we call the armhole row. In the first six stitches, make one single crochet. That's one stitch or one single crochet already. Two, three, four, five, six. Then make five chains. One, two, three, four, five. Count five stitches. In the sixth stitch, make a single crochet. Then in the next 11 stitches, make one single crochet. And then make five chains. Four, five. Again, count five stitches. And in the sixth stitch, make a single crochet. Then make one single crochet in the last or in the next five stitches before the marker. Here in row 13, we're just going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. Now 
Now I'm at the end of row 13. In here, I'm just going to make a chain and then turn. Here in row 14, we're going to do the same. Make one single crochet in each stitch. I'm now at the end of row 14. I'm going to make a chain here and then turn. Here in row 15, the same thing. Make one single crochet in each stitch across. Now I'm at the end of row 15. I'm just going to make a chain here and then I'm going to cut my yarn. Weave the loose thread or the tail to hide it. Let's start the arm by making a magic ring. Chain one and then five single crochet in the ring. For row 2, chain 1 and then make 2 single crochet in each stitch around. From row 3 to row 10, start the row by making one chain and then make one single crochet in each stitch around. Pause this video and play again after you finish row 10. To finish row 10, make a slip stitch, chain 1, and then cut the yarn. Leave long tail. To stitch the arms on the body.
Here's how to make the dots. Make a slip knot. Make four chains. One, two, three, four. Make a slip stitch in the first chain. Chain one. Now make eight single crochet in the ring, not in the chain, but in the ring. Make a slip stitch in the first single crochet, then chain one and cut. Now let's make the hoodie. First, attach the red yarn in the second stitch. Chain 1 
then make one single crochet in the same stitch. Continue making one single crochet in each stitch until the second from the last stitch. Leave one stitch, chain one, and turn. In row two, make one single crochet in each stitch across. From row 3 to row 19, make one single crochet in each stitch across. Finish until row 19 and I'll show you what to do after that. Fold the hoodie facing the back on you. And join the edges by making single crochet in each stitch.
Row one. First, make a slip knot. Then make four chains. One, two, three, four. In the second chain from the hook, make one single crochet. Then in the next, one single crochet. And in the last one, make three single crochet. One, two, three. In the stitch next to that, on the other side, make one single crochet. And then in the next, make three single crochet. That's one, two, three. In the next stitch, make a slip stitch. That's the end of row one. To start row two, make a chain. Make one single crochet in the same stitch. In the next one, make one single crochet also. And in the third, one single crochet. In the fourth stitch, make two single crochet. one and two then after that make one single crochet one single crochet again in the next one single crochet in the next one single crochet in the next and then two single crochet one and two one single crochet in the last one before the slip stitch make a slip stitch to finish row two row three make one chain and then in the same stitch make one single crochet in the next one single crochet continue making one single crochet around Here in row 4, similar to what you did in row 3, make 1 single crochet around for a total of 12 single crochet. Here in row 5, we're going to make increases. After every 3 single crochet, make an increase. So in the first three stitches, make one single crochet and in the fourth stitch, make two single crochet. Okay, another one single crochet in there. Repeat the sequence. One single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochet row six and row seven you're going to use just one pattern one single crochet in each stitch around so go ahead finish row six and row seven and then i'll show you what to do next i'm at the end of row seven I'm just closing it by making a slip stitch then after that I'll make a chain and then cut my yarn then I'm gonna show you how to stitch the ears to the hoodie
using again the thin yellow yarn and the 2.25 crochet hook let's make the nose make a slip knot and then make four chains one two three and four then in the second chain from the hook make a single crochet in the next one single crochet and in the last three single crochet it's one two and three then in the next stitch make one single crochet and then next to that make three single crochet one two three then in the next stitch make a slip knot oh make a slip stitch second row make a chain first and then make one single crochet in the same stitch where you made chain and then one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and then two single crochet in the fourth stitch okay that's one and then two in the next stitch again make one single crochet one single crochet in the stitch next to that one single crochet again in the next now here in the next one make two single crochet it's one and two then after that one single crochet and then next to that make a slip stitch here in row three chain one and then make one single crochet in the first stitch in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch one single crochet and then in the fourth two single crochet in the fifth stitch two single crochet also in the sixth two single crochet in the seventh one single crochet eighth one single crochet in the ninth one single crochet in the tenth stitch two single crochet in the eleventh two single crochet And then make a slip stitch in the next one now make a slip stitch okay first chain one and then make a slip stitch in each stitch until you reach the last stitch <laughs> 